All right. The uh, next track is, I think, the longest track we've ever done. Oh, crikey. Um, so you can... It, it, it is a cover, but I'm not entirely sure how long it will take you to work out what this is a cover of, because oh, at good. first it sounds like it's the Beatles' Let It Be, but it's really not. Oh. Are you ready? Yes, okay. One, two, three, play. <laughs> Well, someone just turned on their vacuum cleaner by the sounds of it. <laughs> oh God, is this a is this is this a um, cover of Com Susa Todd from um, Evangelion? I don't know what that is, so no. Oh, it's not Com Susa Todd then. That's a shame. Famous song sung by an Australian girl for the end of Evangelion movie. Speak up, love. You're mumbling. You're, you're whispering. Any ideas? No, not yet. Really? Not much of a, it's not much of a melody, to be honest, is it? That's why I thought it was the other song from Evangelion. It goes, this one that goes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. That song. But no. <laughs> It's not that. Oh my god. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yes. I'm gonna have to add this. I'm gonna have to get a copy of this for my shop. People are really gonna get confused. I love a good confused <laughs> song. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine if Kurt Cobain was in Japan when he died, this is what they play at his funeral. <laughs> well, this nicely balances off the uh, other uh, cover of Smells Like Teen Spirit that we listen to. <laughs> See, this at song, the end, you have to decide which is your favourite. <laughs> it, it feels like if you were a teenage alternative fan of anime in Japan you would have this at your funeral once you do yourself in <laughs> it feels like it only exists once, for that purpose once you do yourself in if, if, I it, love the, it feels the inevitability like of which you say that oh you're, 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 in, a, you're in a Japanese alternative but you're going to do yourself in <laughs> so but, but you're into cute anime it, it, it does feel like this song only serves that one purpose. What is this song for? Why was it written? What's its purpose if not for that? They, they, nothing is too stupid to try. Well, once again, I love the fact that it is so completely opposite to the original that it balances it out on a, like a universal scale. I think the thing is, is that, like, like you say, I wonder who wrote this. Who thought? Well, yeah. I want smells like Teen Spirit, but I don't want any angst, and I don't want so, it to be too fast, and I don't no. want it to be too angry. Yeah. I want smells like Teen Spirit, but I want it to make me feel relaxed. Because this, this had to be licensed, agreed, composed. True. True. Played, True. sung, True. marketed, True. distributed, True. produced. True. True. And all that costs money. We're fucking listening to it. You know? We're fucking listening to it. So. And all that costs money. And in Japan, there's this wonderful ethos that nothing is too stupid to pump the money into. Any idea flies. Somehow they make it work. Yeah. Somehow they make it work. It's, it's so strange. Because... You've you got the guitarist on this now. He had to be paid. It's br yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no idea doesn't fly.
Why does it go on so long? <laughs> because it's so slow. Despite the pitch, which makes you think it's happening at double speed, it's actually happening much slower. I would love to play this at double speed, because then it'd be normal length again. <laughs> but this is the be, like bothering dogs. This is the Bohemian Rhapsody of Moe songs. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! It fades out. It fades oh, out, God, which means worst thing. you know what it means. It means that there's more that they couldn't be bothered <laughs> to to commit to <laughs> tape. Like the the producer was like, "I'm pretty sure this should have ended. I'm pretty sure. That it, <laughs> look, I'm going to move the volume, and if no one turns around, let's just yeah. let this end. Right. But I'm putting actually, a stop to this. The recording still this. going on now. I the am. The band putting. is still in the studio now. <laughs> I am putting an that end to this. There. This has got to end. <laughs> wow. They're still playing that song. If, if you go by a Shibuya, oh my go God, visit. They're all, they're all They're all emaciated. <laughs> they're on the 1100th solo by now. So that was um, Yuko Goto, who is, again, this was from the uh, anime singers doing uh, rock songs CD. That was She's an anim an, sorry, anime voice actress, and that was her version of Smells Like Teen Spirit. What, what's your feeling about that? Is that something you would ever listen to again? Do you think it has a place in the university, uh, universe, or is it just an interesting curiosity? I'd listen to it again if I had the seven minutes to spare. It would be on in the background. <laughs> if I was on a plane journey or a long train ride or something, and I'm just looking out the window, and it turns up on you my You have to make a date with this song. You have to make a date with this one. If, if I'm on a long train journey, I'm looking out the window, and that just so happens to end up in my playlist, I'm not going to skip it. It's staring off into the distance music. That's what it is. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It is. That's that's a fantastic description. It is. It's that sort of music you just sort of like zone out to and stare into the distance. Um, somehow, somehow there is something fueled by the fact that it's a grunge song, it's a Nirvana song, that you'd stare off into the distance and there would be something slightly, slightly meaningful in your soul as you listen to this squeaky anime rendition. <laughs> I would love to play this at double speed, because then it would be normal length again. 